In this video, we're going to show you one of the best triangular passing concepts in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the Colts playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the tight slots halfback week. And the play we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be the play verticals. What makes this play so good is the fact that you have these wheel routes out of the uh, tight end and the slot receiver. And we're going to kind of build around those to create kind of a triangular uh, style of passing. And triangular style of passing is really good for zone coverage, but also can attack man coverage, specifically cover one robber uh, or any kind of man coverage that's not shaded underneath. So what we're going to do with this concept here is we are going to take this uh, left of screen receiver and put him on a slot apprentice post. We're going to take our running back. We're going to put him on a streak. And then we're going to take this out, this right side receiver right here, and we're going to put him on a hitch, or you could also put him on an in route. So as you can see here, this just creates a lot of really nice triangular read concepts. Our first read on this play is going to be this triangle receiver to the left. If they're playing uh, cover one man or not shaded down man coverage, you can actually throw these wheel routes on both sides uh, of the play for easy yardage. So you'll see that was that guy there. Um, and then you'll also see here that this post gets wide open as well uh, against man coverage typically. Now the other thing that you have is if they are pressing you uh, and doing some type of press man like this, occasionally uh, your tight end should be open to the flat here. So if you look to the right, that time they didn't, we didn't get a great bump out of there. But the other thing is you can sometimes get this over the top, as you can see right there. Now specifically against shaded down man um, that doesn't have any safety help, such as this right here, sometimes the, the way that locomotion works, the way the movement works in this game is a lot of times you can actually get these wheels, you know, with a free form and a high point pass up and over the top of the defender. Now, obviously if they, if they have, um, obviously if they have like KOs, then that's in a little bit of a different conversation, but you do have a window to throw that over the top. Now, what about shaded down man in terms of underneath if they do have safety help? So if they do have safety help and they're still shading underneath, uh, one of the things that you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to attack them with your post route. Um, and then you can also playmaker your hitch. So what you'll see here is this post route is going to be, I'm going to flick my joystick to the left. And oftentimes this hitch is going to get open uh, over the middle of the field. It's really a great little, uh, it's a great little uh, last resort type read. The other thing is if you put him on a in route um, or some type of slant route, anything really, um, if they have two high safeties, that means the user is going to be stuck in the middle of the field trying to defend either your in or your post. So you'll see here with short and elite or short out elite, it does really good against getting uh, off of the jam. So those are some critical uh, abilities to make this a little bit more effective, specifically against man. Now, when we talk about zone coverage, um, this play is really good against zone. So what these wheel routes do, because they jet out so quickly, is they're quick flat reads. So if they're playing hard flats, they might have that covered, but then you can throw that little running back in route in behind it, or I'm sorry, that running back streak in behind the zones, uh, right in that little pocket right there. Now, if you wanted to put your running back on a wheel, I wanna show you a little bit about what that would look like. You can do that. Um, it does get him a little bit more out into the seam area and away from the yellow zones. So you could throw it kind of right in there, but at the same time, um, it, it can, um, be a little bit more susceptible to better coverage against zone. So if they're in man coverage, uh, another thing real quick about man, if they are in that shaded down man coverage, running back wheels are really good against that. And you'll see right here, see how they kind of like pick the player off for you. And now your running back wheel and Julian Edelman are kind of running in the same area, which is a little bit problematic, but um, they do serve as natural pick routes. So just something to think about. But let's keep going through this. So uh, if they are in cover three and they're hard flatting out of a cover three style zone, they got a little bit more yellow zones, but you can highball this right here. So if the yellow zones or the user kind of run to the running back, then you've got a high ball in the middle of the field of this post. And this is one of the best routes in the game, um, in my opinion, for attacking zone coverage. So let's take a cover two, for example, and let's just say, you know, maybe it looks something like this right and they have these vertical hooks down there to try to stop the hitch on the right and to stop the running back streak what happens is you can highball this right before he gets to the deep blues and you just see how good of a route that is okay now this also provides us uh with some different options if they are truly running a cover two let's say they're running some type of 
let's say they're running some type of double Mabel coverage where they're double flatting, this becomes one of the best plays in the game for attacking that. So if they are in a double Mabel coverage or double flat coverage, then you're going you're gonna to have everything open. So what you'll see here is these wheels when they cut up field, if you watch late, you can actually throw that against the cover two over the top late. So you do have kind of a late read in a drop eight coverage scenario. But the other thing that you have is, let's say, for example, that they are, you know, sending five at you out of a cover two type shell. You know, maybe they're doing something like this. And now they're going to double flat this side because they know this is the main side that you want to throw the ball to. And then they see the running back shoot out there. So they know they have to go guard the running back. Right. So a lot going on here. But if they start to adjust too heavily to the left side of the screen, now you're going to have this hitch right in the middle of the field just sitting, and it just gets in a super soft spot. And the beauty of this is they really can't um, they really they really can't play double Mabel coverage against you. This this is this is the double Mabel killer. Uh, any kind of triangular read is really really typically pretty good against double Mabel. You also see here late, you can throw this post if you do have time in the pocket, you can throw that post late as well. This is one of the best passing concepts in the game. If you want to get my entire Tight Slots Halfback Week offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We have two versions of it. We have one out of the Colts and we have one out of the Bengals playbook. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, head down to the description below. $10 to get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates. Head down to the description and go check out the Patreon.